So we're going to do factoring by decomposition. So this is a specific style. There's many types of factoring. We're just going to use one specific one. Now when we factor, we're usually looking at what's called a trinomial. In other words, there's three terms in it. Okay. There's other types, but for what we're doing, especially with quadratics, they're usually trinomials. And trinomial means just three terms. Each term is separated by either an addition or a subtraction sign. Okay. And this is in what's called standard form. So what we're doing is we're going from standard form and we're going through the process of factoring to put it in what's called factored form. Okay. And actually, I'm going to change this question just a little. So I'm going to make this 12. Okay. And factored form. Um, a lot of the times is written as f at x is equal to, and the a is on the outside, and they usually write x, x, and it'll be minus r minus s. Okay, so that's called our factored form. So we go from, the whole process here is we're going from standard form to factored form by factoring, and this is what a factored form usually looks like. Now you'll notice the A is the same in both factored and standard form. Well, that's because that's considered the common factor usually. There's a common factor we can pull out. So in this one, here's the question. I'll write it again down here. Question says f at x is equal to 12x squared plus 2x minus 2. The very first step to factoring is common factoring. Okay. So we got to look for a common factor. Well, it just so happens 2 is a common factor here. I can divide every term in here by 2 to simplify it a little. Now, the 2 doesn't disappear. It kind of comes to the front. And in brackets, we leave what would be left. So in this case, we'd have 6x squared plus x minus 1. Okay? So that's the common factor. Now what we got to do is use decomposition for this. Now, like we said, this was the A term, this was the B term, and this was the C term, right? In decomposition, we're going to multiply the A term by the C term. Okay? And those two values need to equal something. And the B term is what they got to add to. So, we're going to need two numbers that add up to, sorry, that multiply to what a times c is, and those say two terms need to add to what b is. Okay, so a times c in this case is six. So we need two terms that multiply to six, and the b term in the middle is just one. They both have to add to one. Okay, now we already know this, and technically, actually, it's negative six in this case, right? and positive one. So let's keep that in mind. Well, two numbers that multiply to 6 are 3 and 2. And we could get them to add to positive 1 also. If we use the value of negative, sorry, positive 3 and negative 2, we'll fulfill both of those, right? So what that means is this middle term, our b, we're going to split it, OK? We still have the 2 on the outside. We'll kind of write our funny brackets. We're going to have 6x squared. And I can either put minus 2x first or plus 3x first. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to do plus 3x minus 2x. So we've split it. And the reason we split it is because if we combine these, what is positive 3x minus 2x? Just 1x, right? So this is technically the exact same thing as our b term here. We just kind of split it up and minus the value of 1. Now when we do that, you were right, in which they kind of put like an imaginary bracket around these two, two of the terms. We do a little more common factoring. So 6x squared plus 3x. Okay, and we kind of put brackets around that. And then I'm going to put a plus sign between. Okay, even though that says a minus, and I'm just going to put the brackets around, like an imaginary bracket around those. Okay, so we have minus, we'll write it in black negative 2x minus 1, okay? And then we have an imaginary bracket ending there. 
And the reason we have imaginary brackets is we're going to take common factors out of these. What would be a common factor of 6x squared plus 3x? You mean that goes into both of them? Yeah. Three. Not only 3, but 3... X. Yeah, we can actually take 3x out of both. Okay. And the same idea, what can we take out of this negative 2 and negative 1? Okay. I can't take an x out of both because there's no x okay. attached to the second term. Mm, I can't take two from one evenly. There's a number that always goes into everything. One. one. I can just take one now. And now because this is negative, what I kind of want to do is I want to make the first term in our brackets, I usually want to make it positive. So I'm going to divide by negative one. Okay? So I'm going to take negative one out of both of these. So my next line is going to read two on the outside. Okay? The three x has come to the front of this bracket. And what will be left when we divide it by 3x? Oh, one x. Actually, it would be 2 Oh, that. <laughs> and what about when we divide 3x by 3x? One x. No. There won't be any x's. They cancel out. Oh, one. Just the number one. Okay. And then we factored out. Remember, we factored out negative one. So the negative one's kind of kind of replaced that. And we have negative one. And what would be left here? We'd have... 2x one. plus 1. And if you notice, these brackets are the same. Okay, So now I can use that as a common factor. I'm going to move those brackets to the outside. So I'm going to get 2. And these ones I've underlined in red, I'll do it in red. We have 2x plus 1. And our other bracket is what our other two terms are. What are the other two terms? 3x minus 1. Minus 1. And that's it. This is our factored form here. The common factor is our 2. Remember, so we have f at x is equal to, and remember, factored form said is equal to a. Well, our a term is our 2. And then we have our x minus r and x minus s. So they look very similar now. Okay, we have our two sets of bracket and our a term on the outside. So the common factor made it look a little more difficult because we kind of always had to keep this bracket on the outside. Mm -hmm. But we're really, just focus from here on, and that's technically decomposition, that part right there. Okay, so that's factoring by decomposition, including common factor.